So what, what we ended up doing yesterday was just like a seven to eight minute refresher of uh, what we did last week. And Jackson and John Luke kind of just got taste of the new skill like during the refresher. So this skill that we work on is what I call a power move. Um, John Luke is relatively new to it. He does more of like the head fake push pull type stuff. But what you'll watch with Jackson is he doesn't do a bad job with it. But what we want to see right here is we want to see this puck go a little bit more towards the side of our body and then cross over with that right foot. So we want we want to push this puck to this side because then if a defender gets his stick in on us and, you know, you're playing a good defender and he ends up getting a stick in on us, we can keep the puck away from our body and protect the puck with our left hand, but also move the defender away with our right hand. And then we want to just continue with speed, which he actually does a good job doing. But all this move is is basically just coming down on a defender, fake like you're going to go in, you quickly pull the puck into your body and go to the outside and then drive the net. So Ryder actually does a, end up doing a pretty good job here. You could see the initial head fake, but also crossover and in to out with puck movement. Watch puck movement, but goes in, out, forehand, backhand. Good job. Not a bad job. Maybe just a little bit too much of a sell on the inside. A little bit better from Elliot. Elliot just has to work on pulling that puck into his body. So a little bit better job by John Luke there by pulling, starting with the puck on the outside and then pulling it to the inside. And I like just because John Luke was at a disadvantage here due to him being left-handed. I like how he stays with the puck on his backhand and takes a backhand shot. This move wants to, you know, you get maybe an inch or two separation and then you want to get a shot. So see, not a bad job there, but what you'll notice from Jackson is when he makes this move, his feet almost like stop and he looks to shoot right away where we want to take this puck. Now this puck is on the inside. We want to take this puck and the puck should be like, right here on the outside part of the like uh of our body and then we get to the inside and shoot so like realistically if a defender he comes down on defender and he beats the defender and he just makes a quick move to the inside the defender could just realistically open up and then just on his backside poke the puck so what we want to do is like work on like protecting the puck with one hand on our left side a quick pull to the inside and a shot So I, I like to demonstrate because then you could see what they should be doing and what it should look like because realistically, this is what, what we're about to show, which is called like a head fake push-pull should look like. All It's literally all one motion. I go out to in, puck stays on my forehand the entire time. I don't stick handle at all, and I step into the shot and shoot. And you'll notice... When I shoot, I step with this right foot, I mean this left foot, towards the net, and I shoot. And you'll notice what these kids end up doing. So puck ends up just going, getting too far in front of Ryder here, where he's almost like lunging and reaching at the puck. And then what Ryder tends to do a lot is before he even shoots, he picks up his one leg. So like before this puck even releases off Ryder's stick, his leg is going to be picked up ready to shoot. So the puck is, you know, on his inside foot and he picks up his outside foot before he even shoots. 
And that's basically what I'm telling Ryder right now is the puck just gets too far out in front of him when it needs to be side of your body. Weston does a really good job with the move there, but you know these extra stick handles just make it a little bit harder for him to release that shot. Elliot doesn't do a bad job there. Just work on that little fake a little bit more. But he does a pretty good job, you know, like that fake to the outside, quick in. So if you like watch Jackson go, and he gets progressively better with the drill, but like if I'm a defender, there is there's like no fake at all here by Jackson. Like not one bit. He just kind of stick handles. Like you need to sell it. And what I'm telling you is like you need to like sell that move. So you need to sell like you're going to go outside and quickly pull the puck to the inside. See, again, Ryder just holds on to the puck way too long and shoots. That's basically what I'm telling him right there. Good job, Weston. A lot better job with the shot. Not a bad job, Elliot. Just puck kind of rolls on Elliot because when you'll see where the puck ends up going, so it's good on the side of his body. Good, good fake. But then the puck kind of gets a little bit too far in front of him. It rolls on its side, and Elliot tends to shoot off his actual outside foot, which is a little bit weird, but he has, has a hard shot, so I, I don't like the change much. That was much better. It just has to be – the kid just needs to work at a little bit more game speed, which is fine. They go a little bit slower, but they need to get into the habit of working at game speed when they make these, like, moves and work on these drills. A little bit better there by Jackson. So, yeah, basically what I'm telling them is why we do this move is – so, like, say you're a defender, and right now I'm showing them, like, I'm a defender. I have a guy coming down on me. He goes left, like he's going to go outside, and then he quickly cuts back right. Now I have to bring my stick to the inside, bring my body. Meanwhile, his momentum, his body is going that way already. So you'll most likely get a step on that. Comes down, defender, fake left. Go right. Now he's got me beat. Move on to the next one. <laughs> this was the new skill that we introduced to the kids this week. And I just, I basically just call it like a forehand push pull. So like they pull the puck on their forehand, push it on their forehand right into a shot. And the reason we do these type of drills is just, I just we're just adding more skills for the kids like it's just like a tool in a tool toolbox right we go come down on a defender and you know you fake like you're gonna pull into your body the defender will most likely bite on the fake like that this will pull into the body defender will most likely bite so like you have a defender coming and playing you one-on-one -on -one. defender might bite on this pull like you're gonna go to the outside this way but then you quickly push the puck to the inside so that's the reason why we do it. It's just another tool for these kids to use on a one-on-one. -on -one. So the you know what we basically do is we're building off of like that the drill where I had them come down, pull the puck into their body, and then continue down this way. But now we're doing like a fake pull into our body and push away from our body into the middle of the ice for a shot. Ryder doesn't do a bad job there. See, like, there's not much of a pull into your body there by Weston, so you're not going to fake anyone out with that move. It's not horrible, but, like, maybe it'll work on some PB defenseman, but it's not going to work at his next level. 
Ellie doesn't do a bad job. He had a little bit of difficulty with it in the beginning, but you could see like the puck kind of rolling and he's like almost like flicking the puck up. Like, that's a little bit better. That's what you want to do. You want to do a quick pull, quick push, shot. I don't get much of John Luke just because I had John Luke going on the other side just so he can work on his normal side. But Ryder ends up doing a pretty good job. The only thing Ryder needs to work on here is just like keeping his feet moving. And he's picking up his feet and stopping his momentum and then having to cut to the inside. So you kind of see like he almost like picks up his feet, slows down a little bit. But it's a good move. Like it'll work for against any defenseman Ryder will go against at the squirt level or wherever he plays. A little bit better job there by Weston. Like the shot though. Yeah, Elliot just his the puck tends to roll when he's doing these. Not bad. John Luke did a pretty good job, but he had a little bit of difficulty like understanding, like pull into your body, push away from your body on the same side. He kept like pushing in front of him, where like you don't want to push the puck in front of you because there's a defenseman right in front of you. Right? So if like you watch John Luke go over here, he's got like pulls in. Pushes away and the puck's like in front of his body right now. Instead of like being. Instead of like being out here. The puck needs to be like right over here. We'll continue to build off of like these three skills. And then, you know, today, like I'll show you what we worked on as we're about to switch sides. We worked on also this which I call shooting across the goalie. What I try and tell the kids is like, if you're a righty coming down this way and you make a move to the outside on the, on the left side, so you're a righty coming down the left side and you shoot left side, the goalie is go is at the left side. He's already there. So you're basically just shooting in the middle of his body. And that's why you see a lot of, goal, you know, you see a lot of kids shoot and it's literally like right in the goalie's chest or what they call bread basket. What I try and tell the kids is like shoot across the body. So like if you're coming down the left side, shoot right side. And what we were trying to work on was exactly this. So we're working on, and these kids don't even realize it, but we're working on that initial like skill that we worked on basically for two weeks now, that push, pull, and now we're just right into a shot. So I'm just trying to get these kids into the habit of like not just coming down and like having no idea what they're going to do with the puck. It's like you know, now we're, we've already worked on like four different skills that these kids can utilize in a game. Come in a game time, like say you just, you know, you got a good defender that's playing a one-on-one -on -one with you. Now you have the, you could pull into your body, continue with the puck to the outside, drive the net quick. You can, you know, do a head fake, push, pull. You can do a, you know, a forehand pull, forehand push type drill, or you can just do a simple thing like this and push, shoot the puck across your body and across the goalie. Not a bad shot there by Elliot. Nice. Just want to get these kids in like the habit of like actually knowing what they're going to do with the puck when they have the puck on their stick. John Luke just has a very weird shot. Like, when he shoots, he almost like he stops his momentum. His stick blade opens up. So his stick blade opens up. His top hand doesn't do anything, and his bottom wrist just flicks. 
his top hand needs to pull back and his bottom hand needs to push and flick into his stick. His top hand just doesn't really do much. And then he just doesn't get he like doesn't get his hands off his body, like keeps his hands on his body almost. If you look at his hands right now. Alright, so we will move on to what I really like this was one of my favorite drills because this is something you'll see kids you'll see a lot in a game is like you got a kid coming on your backside and the kid just ends up losing like you know you, your kid ends up losing the puck or like they just don't know what to do with the puck or anything like that so we did two different scenarios like you got to just you know you got a kid coming down on your backside and you got to either just continue with it and trying like you know what I was trying to tell them the objective of this is if you have a kid on your backside I think this was part two that I just labeled wrong. It's obviously tough for John, uh, Jackson just because John Luke is just so strong and much bigger. So it's definitely tough. But what I was trying to tell these kids was, so you have a kid on your backside and you end up, and this is what Weston does a lot. You know, what a lot of kids do is they come down, come down here and they try to make a move to the middle and they just stop their feet, and the defender just quickly gets the puck. What I'm trying to show these kids is, like, you got a guy coming down on your on your back. So we have a guy coming down on your back, and John Luke quickly, without even, like, thought, cut back, does a cut back and tries to go this way. What we want to try and do is we want to continue down the lane, like the middle of the ice, and then cut the other person's lane off. So let's say like just drawing scenario, Jackson's right here and John Luke should be in front of Jackson, cutting his lane off and continuing to the net instead of absorbing the pressure and then trying a cut back. And they end up staying with it, John, John Luke, and that's just his strength going into play, but it won't always work like that. So you'll notice right here, a perfect example is that Ryder is a little bit off of Elliot. So what Elliot wants to do, like right, instead of absorbing the hit right here, Elliot should try and like get one step on Ryder and cut Ryder off and get in his lane. But what he ends up doing is he absorbs Ryder's contact. Ryder gets a stick in the lane and forces Elliot to cut back. And now Elliot's got to make some moves, which he does a good job doing is like I like how he's looking at the kid's stick quickly pulling the puck and trying to make a move so perfect another perfect scenario is Jackson's John Luke's is off Jackson a little bit Jackson shouldn't be continuing down this way he should Cut John Luke's stick, like literally cut his stick, get in front of John Luke. So John Luke can't even get a stick on Jackson because what ends up happening is John Luke gets a stick on, in on Jackson, shot slows down a lot, doesn't really get much on the shot. So what we want to do is we want to continue to drive here, cut John Luke off, drive the net. So before Ryder even went, he's like absorbing Weston's pressure and slowing himself down by just like, like almost like playing to Weston's speed instead of just right here. He has a, literally one step on Weston. He should just continue this way. Like cut Weston off and continue this way. But he ends up absorbing the pressure, tries to make a move. And then the last thing, I, the one thing I hate more than anything on the face of the earth is when forwards make moves like this and expose the puck to the middle of the ice because now Weston's stick is right there. It's a quick poke, loses the puck. Ryder needs to, if he's going to make this move, he needs to continue with the puck away from Weston and should be cutting back this way. 
So Ryder should be going this way and protecting the puck instead of keeping the puck on the inside and letting Weston poke check it. We'll go off. This feels like it's already very long. The last one we'll do is what I showed the kids, and this is just another skill for them to have. It's called a fake shot drive the net. So all I wanted them to do was get into the habit of like faking like they're going to do something and then doing something else. Not a bad job by Ryder there. So like if you watch Elliot go there, there's really not much of a fake. Like what does he do to like sell and quote unquote like sell the defenseman? I don't know if that would be it. Like what I was trying to tell them, if the puck's in a loaded position, so on the side of their body, defensemen might think shoot, which I'm telling them right here. So like if the defenseman, if you watch and you come down a defenseman, the puck's in a loaded position, like we're, we're, what I'm doing right now, defensemen might think shoot and naturally pick up their body and try and block it. But then if you do that and you like fake a shot, then they really pick up their body and block it. But if the puck's out in front of you, you're never really going to think of anything like, oh, like he's probably just going to try and make a move or they'll just poke check the puck. So what I was showing them right here was we come down on a fence and we keep the puck in a loaded position, fake the shot, defensive, and we'll then pick up their body, try and block the shot, which a lot of D do. Then you just make a move and do something else. Jackson just needs to get into the habit of, like, when he does get a step on a defender, not just picking up and shooting. Like, if you have room, take the puck and drive the net. It's not a bad play there by John Luke. He even went under my stick, too, so... Like I know what they're going to do, so obviously don't fake it out. But I like the kind of head fake, hand fake by Weston. So, like, the whole point is, like, if you watch Weston when he fakes, watch his hands. His hands make a shooting motion. So his hands, like, go out like he's going to shoot, and then he makes a move. Ryder does a good job, like, keeping it in a loaded position and making a quick move. Yeah, Ryder just like shovels the puck when he shoots is basically what I'm saying to him. Elliot's actually telling me what he wants to do, which is cool. Like the kids came up with stuff on their own. And Elliot didn't do it well. He goes, all right, maybe I won't do this. But um, kids were coming up with things on their own, which was pretty cool. And you'll notice like in a little bit, Weston comes up with his own thing that I present to the group, and I think he's doing it by himself right here if you watch him in line. Yeah, so what Weston was trying to show was like a fake shot. So he like shoots the puck literally. Like if you watch what I do, my hands – push the puck, but it goes on my backhand. That's what Weston was trying to show everyone. That's not bad, though, there. I like that one. Do one more for everyone. Not much of a fake there by John Luke. I think he almost, like, overthought it and psyched himself out. Yeah, I told him to go again because it was just not good. Nice. That wasn't bad. I'm not sure if Weston tries it. Let's see. Not horrible. I think the kids just need to get it a few more times and then just get used to moving a little bit faster when they do these type of drills. But that's all right. Not bad. It 
So if you watch Elliot, there's no fake. Like he just makes moves to the middle. 